If you don't understand the problem, the solution doesn't matter. So let's talk about a problem that most of us don't realize we have, <clears throat> opportunity cost. And this is the problem that the infinite banking concept solves. But because it's a problem we can't see, we don't realize what we're looking at when we look at the infinite banking concept. We start comparing it to an investment, which is not what it is. <clears throat> so what is opportunity cost? Sometimes called cost of capital, discount rate goes by various names. So here's what you see. You spend $10,000 today. So you see $10,000 just left your personal economy. That's what you see. Here's what you don't see. What could you have earned on that $10,000 over the next 30 years? What is the opportunity cost of not having access to $10,000 today? In this case, it's $32,434. That's assuming you could earn 4% on that money. So we're talking about a safe rate of return, right? The reason why it's called the discount rate is you would discount any particular opportunity by that amount. So if, so if someone says, hey, I've got uh, an investment for you and you're going to earn 2%, you would say, well, I'm not really earning 2%. I'm actually losing 2% because I can safely earn 4%. Conversely, if someone offered you an investment opportunity where you could earn 10%, you would say, well, I'm going to discount that by 4% because I know I can safely earn 4%. So really, I'm only earning 6% above the discount rate, right? And depending on you, will determine how much you need to be compensated in terms of promised return in order to take on risk, right? So we'll discount everything by that four percent okay but what if you could use your capital without opportunity cost what if you could use your money and you could earn on your money at the same time so if you need to go and spend ten thousand dollars or invest ten thousand dollars you still have to go and spend or invest that money you still have to give up that money but what you don't give up is the ability to earn on that money. So you give up the $10,000 today, but you don't give up the $32,434 it would grow to over the next 30 years. Well, how can we use our money in two places at once? How can we spend our money and yet not give up the ability to earn on that money? That's what the infinite banking concept allows us to do. We can use every dollar twice. So we go and spend the money. Meanwhile, we can keep earning on the money.